Hey, what's going on? I'm coming through again. Um, well, you know, I usually show y'all what's on the bottom of each deck, but first I want to tell y'all, look, these two were out yesterday and they decided to stay. When I put everything up, I didn't even see these on the table. And then <laughs> when it was time for me to do a read and it was still on the table. So these two are obviously wanting more messages to come out. Now, obviously this is you getting your roses excited you know you just you just finish celebrating and you talking on the phone and you and your peoples is excited yes that's that energy right there and this is you having all of these things lined up you know when you're going to do what which with each one of these clocks 14 clocks so you might have one through 14 things that you're dealing with and that you're doing and you have everything timed out mapped out dates and everything when you're going to do what and so that's what this energy is a great planner for sure so with that deck, which is Queen Nella's Hidden Secrets deck, we have income as the energy. Okay, so it's about some money. Oh, let's see. Let's see. It's a celebration that is coming. Y'all about to be celebrating. I can feel it. I can feel it. Look. The star. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> the star, honey. You are the star. You about to be celebrating. Don't let nobody tell you different. Keep it on the low. You might have a daughter, or you're just simply someone's daughter who's a star. Let's see, bottom of the deck, someone's crying. Wow. So you're having all of this celebration, enjoying your time, working hard, receiving blessings, and somebody is crying about this somebody is crying mm. i want to know who is this that's crying we're gonna put that right there we're gonna put that there now at the bottom of the deck is woke yes you woke 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 that's why you are the star that's why you're being celebrated. That's why you're able to balance all of these things and have them timed out and mapped out all in your mind. You don't see that this card has no writings, just clocks. So you might be an air sign or have air in your chart. You got everything mapped out in your head. You trust yourself with this information that you're going to be celebrating about you are woke honey this is you chilling i love that so we're gonna put this one back and we're gonna go with the black cat tarot deck let's see this is the black cat tarot deck and this deck has the energy of the ace of pentacles check this ace of pentacles out y'all all right now somebody crying we're gonna block down yes look at you you the star woo wee 
yes yes that's that's the energy right here that's that's your energy let's see what this ace of pentacles energy is about <clears throat> Say woo wee. Yes. Okay. Ace of Pentacles energy. We have Four of Swords. So you've been resting. You might have been injured. And you're not happy about that. Whatever you went through that's got you in this four swords energy having to rest and recuperate you're not happy about that i see his leg is wrapped up but it could be anything for you now we have the knight of wands so somebody's coming to you while you're in this resting energy and they're coming fast we don't know what's going on with this one yet. Let's see what this uh, Knight of Wands is. It's probably the person that's crying. Really? Look. Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords. This how they coming. Mm-mm-mm. Can you turn this light on for me, please? Mm. They coming. With <laughs> words and action. That's what they're saying. They coming with words and action. Mm. Let's see. What else do we have for this Ace of Pentacles energy? The Magician. So something you manifested is coming in. You're going to hear about it. And it's going to be action behind it. And you over here resting. <laughs> this person got their arms crossed. I don't know if this is how you feeling right now. You mad about whatever you done went through that's got you sitting for a minute. You might have been injured. Because he's injured. And in traditional um, four swords, you, you know, you could be meditating or resting. But this guy's injured. So you probably probably did get injured and you feel us the type of way about that but you manifested something here and you're going to hear news about it fast so let's see what this is what else is this ace of pentacles the nine of wands so you're going to have to Pay attention because with this this nine of wands in this deck, let me move my finger. It's two people watching you do what you do, and they're trying to basically set you up. It's trying to be a trap. So somebody's trying to trap you while you're trying to manifest. And even this can be somebody's trying to set a trap for you, and that could be the manifestation. And cause you to be injured. What the fuck is that? Because this is the Knight of Swords, the Knight of Wands, and then the Four Swords. Mm -mm. Let's see. And you're going to be mad. What the fuck? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Because we got the Nine of Wands. And this is a trap. People are watching you. And you're eating your cheese. Minding your business. Now, I know you can sense that they're there because the eyes of a mouse is on the side of their heads. 
and the senses that a mouse has is very sensitive. So they can sense when something is around them and they can sense from where it is. So you know what's going on, okay? And mm, we have the page of wands. Another card of messages coming through. Let's see. Maybe you manifested your way up out this trap where somebody wanted you to be in the four of swords because you're the star. You're sitting here celebrating with this ace of pentacles. So maybe this is something they tried to do, but you got out with this magician. You manifested it. Yeah, we got the fool card. Yeah, you took a leap of faith and kept it moving. That was the action you took with this um, Knight of Wands. You took action, you kept it moving. So, Four of Swords with this Page of Wands. You was already sitting somewhere chilling. Mind your business. Whatever you was mad at or whatever. But you got messages. And when you got these messages, you took action and took a leap of faith to keep it moving. Just, you feel me? You, this person is leaving physically. And there's this mouse, a black mouse. The other picture was a white mouse. This is a black mouse that's holding a white cat's ankle, trying to keep him from leaving or keep her from leaving. So this white mouse... It thinks she's a white mouse. She's really a white cat. And these black cats. <laughs> the ball dropped. <laughs> they didn't even know that. So. Now that she's in her white cat energy. They show who they really are. They're not really black cats. They're really black mice. You see that? And they're on her ankle, trying to hold her back. She took that action. Let's get some more for this. This is very interesting. Oh, the Knight of Swords is the Two of Cups. So... This is somebody you done, um, either you done did something and they love what you do and they're going to come and speak to you about that fast, like immaturely without all of their thoughts thought out, or this is just somebody you used to deal with and that's how they're going to be coming towards you. What is this magician? The Nine of Swords. And this, this Nine of Swords, as you can see, this person is in a circle of mirrors. And they can walk out over those knives right there. That's probably how they got there. So it looks like this person is going within. And they're seeing all the many sides of them. And they are Basically, seeing how powerful they are with this magician card at, at the top. This person is seeing that they can manifest whatever they want. And maybe this is where they go to manifest. Into the Nine of Swords energy. And the Nine of Swords and other decks speak about sleepless nights. So maybe... You manifest in your dreams and you easily go in and come out. And with those knives there, you're protecting what you do there. 
That's how I see that. And what is this? Nine of Wands. This whole setup energy here. What, what do we have for that one? is all clarifying your ace of pentacles okay all of this is clarifying your ace of pentacles everything you heard okay look they trying to set you up because of your ten of pentacles my brother okay i just told you they was trying to set you up bro listen here they watching you. Yeah, you just chilling, eating your cheese. All right? They think you, you're an easy target, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. Because you got more where that little ass piece of cheese came from. Okay? Period. I fuck with you. I fuck with you. Because like I said, oh wait, let me show you what's on the bottom of the deck. We have the Knight of Cups. So someone wants to come in and be all sweet. Um, like I told you before, let's get this clear. They sitting here trying to set you up. This is them trying to set you up, watching you while you eat your cheese. Because they watch your Ten of Pentacles. But little did they know. With the Fool card. Little did they know with that Fool card. You. Was the white cat. And you was happy. And you had a leap of. You had a leap of faith that you was already taking. And with that moon there. It was a secret. And you kept it moving. Kept it pushing. Doing what you doing. See. They thought you was this, but really you that. And look at how happy you are. Ain't never been anybody sad looking like that. I ain't walking out sad. These motherfuckers right here walking out sad. You see that nigga? That one motherfucker right there. That motherfucker right there is walking out sad. Look at him. Holding on to your ankle. Was it you just this... This big bad cat over here, you and your motherfucking peoples. Y'all was just this big ass black cat over here, right? Y'all was two black cats over here. Really tough, right? Y'all was doing y'all do, right? But now look at you. This who you really are. And this is who that person really is. The one that they thought they was going to set up. <clears throat> All right. Well, that's your Ace of Pentacles energy and um, from the Black Cat Tarot deck. But just know, with that Ace of Pentacles comes this Ten of Pentacles. Okay? So don't you trip. Let's see. I think we're going to go ahead and go to the next deck. This deck right here has already been used and the last message was woke. So don't forget it. You are woke and you got mad stuff coming in. Mad. Massive. It's mad. Okay. They mad. Oh, well. So let's put these up. That there. I'm gonna leave these here. The next deck we're gonna take is this mixed oracle deck. Now let's see if I could get a card to show you what decks they are. Okay, these are the two decks that I mixed. 
And this time I um, shuffled them in two separate pals. So this was this was the message on this pal. It's the royal you. So we're gonna get into this one. What do we need to know in reference to these two cards here? And the royal you. I mean, you wouldn't be getting roses if you wasn't the royal you, right? You wouldn't be looking like this if you wasn't the royal you. This how you coming. Okay. Let's see. Well-being. You put your well-being first. And that's why you're so healthy and grounded. And excelling. Ascending growing that is why because you put your well-being first and with all of this grass and things surrounded by her under the moon it's like all is well when you are well that's how i see this all is well when you are well so your well-being was very important to you. It is very important to you. And that's why you are able to just lay here in the grass under the moon and the stars in the middle of some mountains and fear nothing and still glow, still shine, still be the light. You have every reason to celebrate. You are royal. Oh, come on. We have opening to discovery again under the stars. Number 34. That's a seven. Spiritually balanced. Opening to discovery. You're learning so much. Spiritually, it's really been... And then there's a key here. So it's like, it's really been you winning and getting the key to the next door and the next door and the next door in your journey. And you're opening to discover what else is on your spiritual journey for you. That's amazing. Okay. And at the bottom of the deck, we have power of purpose. And that is number 18, which is nine. And everybody knows about this nine in energy. You know, you perp your purpose is yours on your own. So with this nine energy, you're doing this by yourself. You're doing your life's purpose. And it is powerful. It is making you powerful because you are doing it on your own. Nobody else can do it for you. So that's why it's making you very powerful. And the power of your purpose is the point of it all. Which is why you have so much power. Thank the Most High God for that, guys. Don't forget. Now we have the six of pentacles let's get some energy on this six of pentacles power of purpose open into discovery and well-being okay Tell me God didn't send this to you, huh? Tell me God didn't send this to you. Wait a minute. Power of purpose. Do you see the Hierophant and the Emperor? Not only are you your own, you are the boss, but you are on your spiritual path. Like, man, 
Salute to you. All right. Yes, the power of purpose. The Hierophant and the Emperor. Wow. You are committed. Wow, this is beautiful. That is why you get to celebrate. Okay? This is exactly why you get to celebrate. God ordained this for you. The Hierophant and the Emperor coming out. He calls the shots, okay? And there is power in your purpose for existing. Wow, this is beautiful. Six of Pentacles again. Wow. Equal give and take. This These finances are coming in. And you're going to be giving out this, this financial energy to other people as well. To where as though everybody has the chance to experience whatever this energy is for you with your purpose, your life's purpose. It's going to have money exchanged. It's going to have tangible things exchanged with people who need your help because of what your life purpose is. It could be money you giving out. It could be homes. It could be jobs. You could even just be paying people who work for you because you are an entrepreneur with a spiritual path spiritual business okay the moon at the bottom of the deck definitely spiritual business and it might also be something that you are keeping secret maybe you haven't gotten to that point of your journey yet but this is what i see yeah look <laughs> said i see it look Page of Swords. Other people see too. They watching you. In that energy. This is beautiful. I don't know about this person who's seeing. But you know. They could come with negative energy. It could be positive energy. Whatever it is. You know. The point is. You doing what you was sent here to do. And you are going to be celebrating because of that. Anything else for this power of purpose? Okay. Eight of Wands. So people watching, but there's people who are going to be sending messages as well. What are these messages about? these messages are <clears throat> what's these messages okay another message card is good news I know that with this page of wands That's some good news coming in huh oh look at the bottom of the deck what they say wow so wishes are coming true. You've got some wishes coming true. Are you ready? I know I'm ready. Mm -mm, I know this going to be for me too. Mm -mm. I'm ready, y'all. Y'all ready? Like, really just take a break right now while you're watching this and really, like, sit in this energy. Like, are you really ready? Because it's here. I'm sending kisses and hugs, baby. Congratulations. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Now, we're going to get with the awakening genius. Because that's the other half of these ones. You know, the other two. So, let's put these up.
with this star card your well-being is guaranteed this well-being in the star card the power of your purpose is healing and is guaranteed to be for the highest good of all Because you are awakening the genius in you. You are an awakening genius. All right. And that's card number 29. That might be significant for some of you. So let's see what we have from this side of the deck with this awakening genius. It is clarifying this Wu card and this card with the clocks, okay? The Awakening Genius was clarifying that. So now we're clarifying what the Awakening Genius wanted to tell us about this Wu card and this card with all the clocks and things planned out, mapped out right. Okay? You're an Awakening Genius. The way you can do that with your mind. I was saying that earlier. You're really, really, really good at mapping things out. You don't need a pen or paper or nothing. You don't need no reminders or nothing. When it's time, you know in your mind what needs to be handled at that time. Mm, 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 mm. That's what's up. What do we have? Okay. Look at that. A burst of magic. Do you see that? A burst of magic. Number 48. How does that feel? Awakening Genius is telling you that you have a burst of magic here with you right now. You have a burst of magic here with you right now. You better use it. Okay. This is a burst of magic. Yes. Take that energy. Look at her. Look at her. Do you see the silhouette of that woman in between that flower? Magical. You are magical. Okay. Uncharted seas. So, this is uncharted seas for many of you. This is number 46. And that was 48. So, maybe before it was uncharted seas for you, but now you're standing in this burst of magic energy. That is beautiful. I like that. Yeah, that's what it is. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. All they could see is just silhouette glowing with all these stars around it. Yes, and this beautiful flower. Mm -hmm. You are a burst of magic on these lily pads. Shout out to my baby Lillian, Empress Lillian. Yes, you are waking the lion. And since this one has number 19 on it, I believe you woke this lion maybe in 2019. Or your birthday could be August or somewhere, something with a 19. But with this waking the lion, I believe you did this way before. You even got to this 46 Uncharted Seas because that's number 19. So you been on your grizzly. Like, yeah, you wasn't, you wasn't playing around. You was just low with it maybe because you went from 19 to 46 to 48. Yeah, look at that. Fertility at the bottom of the deck. You are fertile with ideas and creative projects that you're working on and you're you're giving your undivided attention to each one of your projects you're going to put that nine months in with each one of your projects all of them are your babies everything that you invest your time your love your energy into you 
are going to see succeed with this burst of magic. That, that is just automatic. Automatically. Look how she's telling. She know. She knows what she has. She's delivering it. Okay? She's delivering it. Let's get one more card for this side of this oracle deck. Ooh, we got passion. That's right. Whole lot of passion. We got a whole lot of passion for this, y'all. Okay. These cards fell over on the couch. It's three cards. And at the bottom of the deck, we have reconciliation. So somebody wants to reconcile with you reconcile with you and that's this person who is over here crying but let, let, me, let me hold it right for you they crying i mean it's got mascara on bro so that's saying like it's a female crying so that might be a message for a male but anyway at the bottom look at all of these different faces that look upset all of these emojis they are upset so even if there's a woman crying over you um masculine energy or male energy females there's other people who are upset too and that goes for the males too so somebody crying they want to reconcile with y'all okay so let's get to these three cards we got passion after that we have beauty we have good luck and we have imperfect harmony so everything is in perfect harmony you went from waking the lion to the uncharted sea with this good luck card you was charting this sea that you've never been on before.